Everybody knows this is the Duana Mater, our beautiful Labrador Retriever who we've been doing a lot of obedience training with and conditioning him to doing um, obedience and agility. Janet's doing agility with him. I'm doing a little bit of the obedience, but she's doing 90% of the work. But today I want to talk to you about something that's really, really important, and that is releases. How do we get a dog to release when he's done doing his exercise and make that picture crystal clear in the Duana Mater's mind? And if you like this video, you're going to love all the videos on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe right now to this channel and you'll be updated on every new video coming out. So Duane, good boy. So what I want to do is get Duane very excited. Duane, come here. Come here, good boy. Duane, sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes and release him, right? Now, Janet's using the word okay to release him. I use the word yes. He's still gonna see the excitement in the release and he's gonna go for that. Dwayne, come here. The importance in understanding how to release your dog is it teaches the dog to wait for the release. So what I wanna do is get Dwayne very excited. Dwayne, come here. Come here, good boy. Dwayne, sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes. So, Dwayne, sit. Good. And I can build duration into the sit longer and longer and longer. He's in a sit. Good sit. It's that dead silence that makes it really interesting, isn't it? You'd think he'd break there. Okay. It's right here, Dwayne. Dwayne, right here. Do yourself a favor too, when you're training your dog, no matter how well trained they are, put them on a long line for two reasons. One is to keep them from failing and running around and you having to run around after them like an idiot. And two, to protect your dog so they don't run into the street and get hit by a car or something like that. Dwayne, good, down. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put him in a down, good, down. And now what is he waiting for? He's waiting for the release word. The release word is gonna tell him that he's free. Your release word can be anything you want it to be. It can be free, it can be okay, it can be yes, it can be banana or uh, Cocoa Krispies, whatever you want. Okay, but make it a clear picture. So right now, every time I say okay, Dwayne, down. Good, I'm still luring him on the down because he's not 100% on it. I want to make it easy, I want to make it fail-proof. I want to help my dog succeed. Good, down, down. And I can move around. Look at this. This is a seven month old puppy who's totally holding this down as I walk around, right? Because he's waiting for what? Okay. He's waiting for the release. The release gives him the information that he's free to do whatever he wants. He can go run over to his mom behind the camera. He can run around and chase treats or do whatever he wants, but he's not required to do anything. He can do all this sniffing. He can jump on me. He can do whatever he wants until I say here, Dwayne, sit. Good, sit. And here I'm going to push him a little bit, sit, and I'm going to walk away from him. And it's that dead silence where you think he's going to break, but he's not. Okay, one more time. So we have this really solid. Remember, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share this message of teaching your dog a really balanced dog training approach with all your friends because it's the best way to build a happy relationship with your dog and to assure that your dog has a very happy life with you and, God forbid, never ends up in a shelter. Dwayne, down. Notice the way I give him the information also. I say his name, I pause for him to look at me, and then I tell him what I want him to do. I don't repeat it, I don't nag him with it, I don't badger him with anything. His name is the most positive thing he has. It's all your dog owns is his name. When you start using his name as a negative, like he's doing something bad, you say, Dwayne, 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 <clears throat> he'll start to hate his name. It's like having a nagging boyfriend or girlfriend. It's definitely not fun. Nobody wants that. Okay. What I really want him to do is to go, Dwayne, sit. I want him to be able to hold that sit. Nope, sit. And not move. So no, there's not, he's not gonna get a reward for that because he hasn't been released. Sit. I'm gonna go up to here, good, sit. I'm gonna go to here, good, sit, sit. I'm gonna try to go around. Yes, good boy, okay, okay. The key thing is gonna be Keep your training sessions short, 
keep them positive, give the dog the information he needs, give him the corrections he needs so that he knows what you want and then you're gonna get what you want. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, love your dog, just love them like crazy because it doesn't last that long and they just don't live long enough, do they, Dwayne and Later? They just don't.